What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Connor Speed 6. Thanks so much for stopping in today. As you can see, we are back in Forza Horizon 5. Of course, what else are we going to be playing right now? We are going to be taking a look at all things custom blueprints and custom root creator. Super 7 is going to be a completely different video. I haven't even dove into that yet, but we will very soon. Uh, so be sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss another upload. Uh, but as you can see, we are way out here in the desert, uh, in the far southwest part of the dunes area. We are just going to jump into a little blueprint event to show you sort of the ins and outs of how to make them, what it looks like, what's new, uh, and if anything's changed, of course, uh, in relation to the original root creator we saw in Forza Horizon 4. So we are here at the Bahia de Plano Circuit, and what we're going to do first is jump into this event. Uh, we're not going to click on Create Root yet, and I will explain why in just a second. You have a couple of different options when you would like to build a custom route. You could, first of all, uh, make a custom route based on the actual in-game blueprint itself. Uh, so what you would do is start up the race just like normal by clicking Solo and go over to Create Blueprint. Now, once you are in Create Blueprint, then you're going to actually start creating the blueprint itself, what type of vehicles, the class, etc. We'll click off road. Doesn't really matter. We'll leave it open class. Now, this is a whole new screen here called Event Lab. We've heard about Event Lab in the past whenever teasers were brought out about the game. Uh, so we've heard about it, but never seen this screen until now. Pretty simple process, though. What you would do is just simply edit the name of the event to whatever you would like. And then you actually get a little area here with 256 characters to type in whatever you would like to about your event itself. Maybe what type of vehicles you're going to use, if it's tight, if it's twisty, if it's hilly, if it's a drift event, you know, things like that. So you can actually put in detailed information about the event itself so people know exactly what they're getting ready to take part in. Now, this choice right here where it says create or choose route, what this is, is this is giving you an option to actually select the horizon route itself or if you would like to create a new route. For now, of course, we're going to use the horizon route and uh, move on to the next little step here. Event settings, of course, we all know what this is. Now, this has a couple new things and great features that I've been asking for since the root creator in Forza Horizon 4. We can adjust drive avatar difficulty to set it at whatever we would like, and it's always going to be that difficulty every time someone runs this race. My favorite thing here is we can adjust the maximum number of drive avatars. We can put anywhere from zero to 11 drive avatars in an event, which is amazing. Number of laps, of course, goes to 50. We all know that Forza Horizon games max out at 50 laps, which that's OK. Duration, you can actually set a time limit on your event from this screen. So if you want to put a time limit on a three lap race or something like that, you are more than welcome to do so. The season, we all know that you can adjust the seasons. We go from hot to wet to storm to dry. Those are four different seasons in the game. The weather and time of day. You just select, of course, what time of day you'd like, what type of weather you would like to have during the race and your time progression. Rolling means the time moves forward. Fixed means the time stays exactly as it is in your initial settings. I love this as well. You can actually turn rewind off so we can do some proper time trial events for the community here. And that way we know that no one is able to rewind just to get some fast times. That's that's fantastic. Locked camera. So we're going back to blueprint events from Forza Horizon 3 and Forza Horizon 2, uh, where you can actually lock the camera and set that stuff up uh, in advance. You can turn traffic cars on or off, which is amazing as well. So if you want to make a really difficult event with traffic on, that would be interesting to see. But if you'd like to have your traffic turned off, feel free. Here is where you select your keywords for the event, which simply makes it easier for people to find your event based on what they are interested in playing. So you can change the keyword number one, keyword number two, and that will actually help your route stand out a little bit from the others. Performance class, it's basically just what we selected a moment ago on the previous screen. It's just uh, D class through X class or open. Now, once you've selected all of your event settings there, what you could do now, you could actually drop down again and uh, change your car theme itself. So you can go from off road to all the other different, of course, car types in the game. After that, you could actually set some music to your event. If you would like to, you can make it set to one song or you can just leave it open and whatever's playing is playing. Last but not least. Now, we're not going to dive too deep into this because it's way too much to pay attention to 
and it really deserves its own complete separate video. But here is the brand new rules of play feature that we have for all custom events in Forza Horizon 5. So what you can do is you can actually set up a chain of events that could happen in a race or a custom event to drill down to a particular outcome. So for example, rule one here, uh, we could select different options when this trigger happens. So we could adjust a uh, trigger to be an overtake. So an overtake, of course, is if you pass somebody or if someone passes you. If an overtake happens and this next condition is met, then the chain of actions just simply keeps going. So for this one, I'll just click get last checkpoint passed, and then you can choose which player that condition has to be true for. So the player who's overtaking a comparison type <laughs> You could change from equal to, greater than, less than, etc. Uh, we'll just keep it equal to against the overtaking player's new place. And then you could even add more and more conditions and drill further down uh, until you have a final outcome that you would like. Now, remember, that is something that is very, very in-depth and not super easy uh, to actually talk about quickly. It's going to, again, need its own video. Uh, so we will dive into that at a different date. All right, now that we've talked about the in-game custom routes, let's actually go to create our own route. Okay, so here we are in the custom route creator in Forza Horizon 5. Now, everything is pretty much the same. If you want to just simply create a checkpoint race uh, from point to point or turn it into a circuit of some sort, you just simply drive down the road and that draws the driving line and the route itself throughout the map. You don't have to stick to a road. You can go wherever you would like, of course. So if you'd like to jump out into the sand, up onto some dunes, drive up the side of the volcano, you are more than welcome to. Just like always, you just have to place checkpoints throughout the route. You just do that by pressing the action button on your Xbox controller. Checkpoints can still be narrowed or widened to whatever you would like to have them set at, depending on what your route looks like, of course. So we'll get that taken care of right now. We got a, play, a checkpoint placed, and then you just do that throughout the map. You can pause it, view the map itself, and uh, sort of help you plot out the rest of your route, of course, once you've uh, set the last checkpoint, or if you're coming to a crossroads and uh, you just can't remember exactly which way you plotted the route to go. Something all new and very exciting to the custom route creator itself is the Blueprint Builder. Now, we have all been asking for this for a very, very long time. To open the Blueprint Builder, you just have to pause it when you're creating your route and uh, click on Blueprint Builder. From there, it brings you into this little screen here. You can move it around like it's a camera, of course. It's very similar to what Events Lab was in Forza Horizon 4 and most likely is here in Forza Horizon 5. Now, you can't see it on the bottom of the screen, but you just have to select your menu button on the Xbox controller to open the Blueprint Library. The Blueprint Library is very involved and as you can see, has all sorts of different things from ramps and platforms to every single type of sign or flag that's in Forza Horizon 5. Everything from street signs to stop signs to, to every single sign you could imagine in the game. Festival items such as grandstands, DJ stages, gates, tents, balloons, everything you can imagine. Every single type of wall or fence in the game can be used as well. Now, if you look on the very bottom of the icons there on the screen there on the selector, you can see almost like a sign is being broken in half. That little pink icon down there means it's a smashable item. Going back to the ramps really quickly here, there's another little pink icon in the bottom of these. That means you can select different colors for those particular items. So you have paintables and you have smashables. After walls and fences, it goes into gameplay. It's every single different type of item in Forza Horizon 5 that you may see lying around the map itself. You've got soccer balls, beach balls, volleyballs, everything you can imagine. We even have the return of the treasure chest. Different vehicles in the game, those are all vehicles that you'll see scattered throughout the map in different locations. Dirt bikes, airplanes, tractors, everything that you can imagine. We've got a plethora of different industrial items as well. Kind of fun if you are in a uh, big open area and just want to have some stuff in there uh, to sort of smash around if you'd like to. Uh, urban is everything that you will find in the cities. Park benches, trash cans, lights, uh, fruit stands, everything, and even 
the gigantic telescope uh, that we actually see back behind the telescope uh, on the volcano up there. Anything is possible sort of in this game mode. Now you do of course have a memory max for your props. And unfortunately the roots do still max out at 40 miles with 250 checkpoints, but this map is massive and uh, there's never going to be a shortage of custom routes being made. And you can still make 50 lap circuits if you'd like to. After the urban items, you can do the rural things, which are just things you might see on a beach, a farm, in an ancient ruin and things like that. And then nature, of course, it wouldn't be a root creator or builder without the T-Rex. And you can also include every single type of shrubbery, a shrubbery and rock that is in the game. Now, once you've placed all of your different props that you would like to in the area in which you're building, all you have to do is press your back button or B and then it'll ask you if you'd like to continue creating your custom route and it will take you back to simply just driving the route and uh, setting your checkpoints and creating the path uh, that you would like to actually build your custom route on. Everything else is pretty much the same though. Uh, we just have a lot of different options here when it comes to building these custom routes now. It's all pretty exciting, honestly, because uh, for example, the route that I'm going to be releasing here in the next couple hours, uh, it's my very first custom route built in Forza Horizon 5. Uh, it's a rally stage that goes up the volcano and I have a couple little different jumps and uh, a whole little festival area in the middle of the route and everything like that. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. It just adds a little bit of depth and something else to look at to kind of break up the monotony of a custom route with just a bunch of checkpoints. So I think it's going to be a really, really good feature. I think it will possibly be the most used feature in Forza Horizon 5. I know it will be definitely by me and a lot of people in my community. Now, just like in the Horizon 4 route creator, all you have to do once you've basically laid out your your entire route design that you wanted to and all of your checkpoints, you just simply have to set a finish point. So to do that, again, it's exactly the same. You just pause, place finish line, and then it will ask you if that's what you would like to do. Once you do that, it brings you here so you can actually save the route and name it so you can have it in your files so you can create even more than just this one custom event off of that route. So you can go back in at a later date, change the vehicle type, change the rules, change car class, turn drive -tars on, turn it to a, just a tri time trial event with no drive -tars, et cetera. So there's a lot more that we can do and a lot more freedom we have with the, uh, the brand new custom route creator and the blueprint builder. It's very, very exciting. Once you get your event or your route named, it'll take you to the next screen, uh, which again will ask you if you would like to adjust the settings. So it takes you back to the, the very first screen we really saw when we set up the different rules and settings for the event. So you'll again, edit the name of the event if you would like to, type in a whole description. And this is actually really important. What you'll need to do, instead of clicking create new or selecting the horizon route, you'll need to go in and select the actual route that you just drew and saved. So we'll select that, adjust your event settings, the car themes, the music if you'd like to, and the rules of play if you'd like to. From there, you just simply test drive. They've actually streamlined this a lot. While you do, of course, have to drive to build the route, you do have to drive to test it. Fortunately, though, you only have to drive to publish it one time, and that is doing this test. So once we go through this test here, once we go through this test here, so here, let's just uh, take a look here. I'm just gonna drive straight to the checkpoints, past the gigantic satellite, through the ridiculous dust storm. Let's send the Bronco 2069 here. We're gonna hit a little bit of a random jump. My custom routes that I build for the community will be far better than this, I can assure you. All right, so we've tested our route now. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna ask you if you'd like to go to the event settings again, which is the previous screen we were on or if you'd like to restart your test drive to see if there's anything that you need to edit. So for now, we'll just go to return to the event settings. And then from the event settings screen, if you're happy with everything that you've done, all you have to do is simply click publish and it will create and generate a share code and it will be live to the general public of Forza Horizon 5. It's really exciting. And this is a much better version of an already really great game mode. So as of creating this video, I actually have four different custom routes 
already built right now. The Goliath itself is just the in-game Goliath that I set to X-Class uh, vehicles uh, with no drive -atars. However, these three events right here are fully custom. And you can see in the very top left of the actual race card itself, the little yellow box with the pencil inside, which means it's custom or created. The other ones that are played on in-game routes do not have that little yellow box. So if you would like to run any of my custom routes at any time, all you have to do is follow me in-game as a creator. My gamer tag is Connor Speed 6 and Connor is with an E, so always remember that. Be sure to leave me some feedback down below in the description if you do choose to run some of my races. I would love to hear from you and also feel free to drop some of your custom events for me as well. As a reminder, there is a link to my Discord down in the description below, as well as all of my social medias so you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. That's going to do it for me today, guys. I really hope this video helps you build some custom routes here moving forward. I really look forward to building many more and playing many of yours as well. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I am Connor Speed 6. Much love, everyone. See you soon.